Our application is coming along pretty well, but there's one big glaring deficiency of it as it stands. If I open up the application and then I hit like, you know, settings over here, or I look through any of these different menus, we're not really presenting our user with the ability to quit from this application as it stands right now. So the user really has no idea how to quit the application. I want to figure out a way that we can make it really easy or at least somewhat easy for the user to quit the app. So what I wanna do is show a little menu to the user if they ever right click on the tray icon. So if they right click on the tray icon, I wanna display a tiny little menu that will give the user the option to quit from the application. Now we've created menus in the past before that were up in the status bar, like the ones that we see right here. Remember that we referred to them as menus. We had created a menu template, then we built the menu template, and then we set it on the application. We're going to do the exact same process to show a user a menu whenever they click on this, right click on this icon up here. To do so, we're going to add a little bit of code to our timer tray class. So here's our timer tray right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna set up a right click event handler on the tray icon itself. And we'll do that in the exact same fashion that we had already set up the click event handler. So right underneath this line, we will add in a click event handler. So this dot on right dash click, I want to run the function, this dot on right click, and we're going to bind the context again as well. If you're curious about the dot bind this right here, this is a little bit of JavaScript, just vanilla JavaScript. Essentially, we are passing a callback right here. We're passing a reference to a function that will be called at some point in time in the future. If we just pass the function by itself like this, then inside of the onClick function, the value of this would not be defined correctly. To make sure that the value of this is maintained, we have to call dot bind this on the function. Okay, so we're going to now define the method on right click on this class. We'll do so at the bottom of this file. So on right click, then inside of here, we're going to create a new menu template. We're going to build the menu template, and then we're going to tell our timer trade to display that, that menu. So we'll first make the menu configuration. So we'll say const menu config equals, remember how we build a menu template? We say menu dot build from template. And then we pass in an array with all the different options that we want to have visible to the user. The only option that we want to show to a user when they right click on this icon is an option to quit from the application. So we'll give this thing a label of quit, like so. And then we'll say that whenever a user clicks on this thing, we're gonna run this arrow function. Since this arrow function or the, the event handler here is intended to quit entirely from the app or just kill the entire app, remember that we can quit an Electron application by getting a reference to our main Electron process or our main app and calling dot quit on it, like so. So app right here, again, this is the Electron app that is created automatically for us by the Electron library. So we can destructure or we can import this at the top of the file. We'll go up to the top. Here's our Electron library and we'll destructure off the app object. Remember that we had previously done this over here inside of our index.js file as well. So we destructured off app and then added on the event handler to it as well. Okay, so back over in our timer tray we created our menu config by building the menu from the template. The last thing we have to do is associate this menu with the tray icon. And we can do so by calling this dot pop up context menu and then passing in the menu config. So here's another example of using some methods off of our base tray class. So we are not defining this method right here. This is a method that is defined by the tray class itself. And we can reference it by calling this dot pop up context menu, and then passing in the menu configuration. Now I think there's one last thing we have to do that I kind of forgot. We have to make sure that we import the uh, menu object. So let's scroll up to the top of the file and we will make sure that we destructure that from Electron as well. So up here, 
we'll grab menu two. Okay, I think we're ready for a test. Inside my terminal, I'll restart the electron process. Now I should be able to right click on this, select quit, and that kills the entire electron process. Note that if, if you are on uh, OS X right now, like me with a laptop, the right click is a two finger click. So you press down with two fingers and that is, is the same thing as doing a, a right click. Cool, so this is looking pretty good. Definitely making some progress. Remember that a lot of electron comes down to setting up all the different polish inside the application that a user really expects to see with a desktop application. So the actual interface that they see, the actual app itself that we display inside of these browser windows, this is all handled by React or vanilla JavaScript or Angular or Backbone, whatever you wanna use. The actual electron side of things really comes down to hooking up all those last little nooks and crannies that a user is going to expect to see with a traditional app. All right, so we're one step closer to finishing up this application. Let's continue in the next section.